holy freaking crap check this out there's the trailer back there it just fell off all right we're at breakfast it's i don't know what time it is it's quarter after seven almost we got in about 4 30 this morning so drive was smooth we didn't leave richie's till like midnight and then uh drove straight through stopped every once in a while to walk around so they didn't fall asleep when driving i saw like mirages out there like a lot of the construction cones i thought were other cars and i was wondering why they weren't moving as i was coming up on them <laughs> so <laughs> needs to say was a little tired Steve luckily slept most of the drive. How comfortable is it to sleep in? That was our thing. I don't even have anything funny to say because it's just not funny. <laughs> That's it. So now we'll uh, get this thing ready, get over to the track, and just heard it's about 30 minutes away. So do it all again. So hopefully without the fix the car after. So that's the goal today. Hey guys, have you subscribed to Sick the Mag yet? <laughs> Sick the Mag is the magazine for the drag and drive community. It's kind of more like a book. If you haven't subscribed, get over to sickthemag.com, subscribe. Definitely a story arc. The fun never ends. Welcome to my three ring shit show. <laughs> what a mess. What a mess. The rules specifically state you cannot tow your vehicle. They do not say you can't tow your trailer. So, legal. We're driving along to the track or whatever from the hotel and I, I did hear one kind of click or whatever and there was like some French people or whatever behind us and they said that it, first it tipped back and you can see it drug the whole back of the trailer or whatever so it must have tipped like this first and then it broke off and I, that's what I saw is the trailer come off and I felt the car go up and I see the trailer I'm telling Steve trailer trailer and I'm trying to get out of the way in case the trailer rolls I don't want to roll it into the car and uh but no it just nosedived flat well then before I even look at mine i'm like well i'll just back up it must have came off and steve got out he's like no 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 stop because the hitch was still attached to the car but the trailer wasn't so we either got to get somebody to come here and take it back together and put some other material or take it back to a shop get it fixed and bring it back to us so we can load it up and whatever i mean hopefully hopefully that's today's event so we'll see So we had the other injectors in it. Um, they required a different wiring harness. So Tom wired that up last night. They also require different injector driver settings so I had to take the freaking injector driver boxes out of the car. By the way, who uses all four bolts to mount something? That's why, there, that's why there's four, so you can pick two to make it easier to get out of the car. We got different injectors. We realized they need another connector. So cut apart a Holly harness, cut apart my harness, and me, the non-wiring guy, wired 16 injectors into this thing to be able to run it today. So we'll see the quality of uh, my workmanship. So now I got to go through programming and swap everything over to these injectors. So I don't have any, I've never used this uh, injector before, so I'm gonna, um, it's not really a big deal. So I just, uh, uh, I just got to test stuff out and start making sure that the injectors are all working, doing what I need them to do, and then um, swapped over. So that's all I thought. And then I, and then I, I think we're, think we're ready to go. I need to detune it a little bit because I don't trust where the injectors are. I need, to, I, I don't have any information on them really. So we'll just make a soft pass because I don't want to burn it up on accident. Just to see what the injectors are doing, if it's doing what I'm telling it to. If they are, then we'll turn it up.
parachute. I don't know what is going on. <laughs> uh, definitely left slow, but get this with having that all new injectors in there. Just trying to figure out where they're going to be at. Just can't go in the exact same tune that you had before because you don't have good clean injector information. So, but I mean, it's it should be. It's, I was expecting better than that, but I don't know why he looks. Obviously, lifted it eight, eighth mile and obviously had the shoots out way early. I don't know what what the deal is. Why? And it's kind of hassle because now we got pack shoots. Uh, so, it takes time to get back out there. I was so concerned about the shutdown that I was ready on the shoots. And then like as soon as I take off the gas, I'm throwing the freaking shoots. And whatever, it just, it was, I mean we gotta look at all the plugs, but then it was just crap. That was about a whole bunch of changes and hopefully we didn't hurt anything. That's that was the only goal with that pass is don't hurt anything. So how'd it feel? Oh it was horrible. So I mean it wasn't making much power. We knew that but then it uh whatever. It was kinda all over the place up there, whatever, like in the upper range. So I mean hopefully it was just so big fat, but I mean we've made we made injector changes without being able to do any tuning or whatever on it whatsoever. So, so the goal is to be big fat, and that's what we're hoping. So, and that's what we're hoping we did. What, what do you think pulling these suits early? That's just an idiot move because I was so worried about the shutdown that, like, so instantly when my foot came off the gas, I threw the chutes. So, if I just would have not thrown the chutes and let it coast to like. I mean, that still would have been horrible. Maybe a low seven. Who knows? boost leak so after I pedaled it it popped a blow off valve um, over and came out so yeah, I was like couldn't understand why it wasn't going any faster you know, like I pedaled it before so I thought they had something to tune up that the delay or something but yeah he, at least he figured it out probably take a little bit out where I had to let off there and see what we can do
When he does it, he does it right. Well, I think. Uh, what do you mean, Jesse? Huh? What a rear mean? end. Oh. It broke. The housing broke. The housing bracket broke or the bracket? Well, the brackets broke for sure. One side, and it's so twisted and forward, I bet it bent the shit out of it. <laughs> Yesterday after the track, we had a broken lip, uh, rocker, so we had to replace some rockers. So we came, come, got off the track very, very late. We arrived at the hotel at 12. It looks pretty decent. It looks, looks good this morning, but we went out for the pass. And the track didn't hold it. The track's much worse today than yesterday. So we made a 661 pass. We're faster today at the moment. But we're getting the car ready if we need to do another pass. Depends on the Stefan Brilko. Yeah. If he's faster than me, I have to go again. First round on Byron Dragway. And we have uh, put in a tune that we hopefully go like a 647. Uh, we, we must put some more pressure on the first and the second uh, contenders as we're sitting on the third place. So we're trying to do that in the first round. If we mess up as something, we have a second round to adjust it for a softer tune. Bailey is more like a one, one tenth average before us. But it has, this is the third day, so we have to do, do two tens more. But it's only two hundreds between me and Westberg. So if I can go four hundreds before, then we even it up. So he's just sitting down there. And if, if we do a bad run, I think he will put it a, a good, go to the next track. If we do a good run, he's coming out again. That's for sure. track I was uh, having a hard time bumping it in also first I had to release the trans brake and do it manually once in I had to pedal it four times and it was really really shit shitty prep outside so we did a 704 and we're going to try to do a much milder tune up now just take power out or yeah we're going to take power out yeah so we tried to up to the power like a few pounds from uh, the last pass at, uh, at the Indy, but uh, that was the wrong decision. So now we're taking out, out a few pounds from Indy instead. Want to leave the starting line? Checked a lifter, uh, it was good, went to put it back in, it was crooked, couldn't get it back out again. So it was quicker just to pull the intake manifold off and pull it out. So uh, that was two kits. Uh, we went on 103.60, the starting line was good. And uh, uh, luckily I was straight because the 2.3 seconds, uh, uh, you know, the the drive shaft started, uh, you know, it was spinning the whole way basically. Uh, and I, I don't even remember the time, it was like a 670 something, uh, 198 on two kits, but I was okay with that. Uh, the, the track wasn't gonna take three kits today and we weren't sure, but I'm glad we didn't put the third kit on. And a sticker. It's your lucky day. Yep. Thanks. Whoa! Uh... <laughs>
happy with it. Uh, it is just super insanely rich, which is exactly what I wanted to see. So it's so rich, you couldn't even correct for it. It was so rich. So that's exactly what I wanted to see. Now I know where they're at. Now I know everything's working. So it should go good. I think things will be good. And I, cylinders, the two cylinders that I picked on the last two days uh, look perfectly fat, happy, and normal, exactly like the other ones. So I think it's just, it just was obviously it was a problem with injectors. So I'm happy. skating all over the place. You must have lifted about a thousand foot or so it looked like. So, yeah and I mean it was lazy then it had power yeah. then it lost all power then it got power again like it softened real up there for a while and then power rolled back in again and then I don't think like that. and then I was lifting after that so and I didn't, ain't nothing wrong with that so. What is 60 foot? Probably like 115. Well, I was deep stage pretty bad. Oh yeah, you were deep stage terrible. Yeah, you didn't need to bump it that last time you were in. I thought it was flashing, so... He started lifting uh, at the eighth mile. So the green line is TPS, and so he started lifting right here. And when he started lifting, what it does is, and uh, I gotta make a correction on this because these great big injectors uh, operate differently and they're, they're fueling more than what I thought. So what happens is he starts lifting and it actually is giving it acceleration fuel and it turns off my closed loop compensation. So since I'm trying to figure out where it wants to be, uh, the actual numbers, I need my air fuel uh, or my closed loop compensation so I can see where it's at. Uh, it turns it off and then all of a sudden this thing is so insanely fat, it's just, it barely runs right there to tell you the truth. Uh, and he was totally out of the throttle. He totally chopped throttle at, uh, gave up 6.1 seconds. So, uh, I think if that was a regular full-on pass, super safe, super easy, this one only made, that's the 40 pounds of boost tune-up right there. So, and we'll be in that 60 pounds of boost when we get back out on good track, and I, and I finish mapping these injectors out and figure out what it wants. So, it will be pretty good. I gotta turn off my, gotta adjust my AE fuel stuff, and uh, we'll be rocking right along. So I think it's, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna pull all the spark plugs out of it, take a look at it, make sure everything's all good, put it in street mode, and then <clears throat> try to corral Tom up and around to stop talking to everybody and get moving.
tricky like it's very tricky and very deceiving you got to be really smart on this track you know i mean we kind of knew it from last year but we obviously we didn't learn we knew it and we said we were going to do it this way before but we still didn't do it did you get greedy yeah that's the thing like we did that same thing last year we we tried to go fast in the morning and screwed it up same thing as today try to go fast in the morning screw it up and then when the sun comes out and the heat comes out like it just ain't happening and you can't get down this with the small tires you, in the heat you can't get down the track at all it's just like you got that one shot in the morning and after that you're completely screwed here. on the big slicks you can't kind of get down later during the day but it's hard even for them for us it's 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 hopeless now we got some cloud cover so now the track is probably gonna be okay but now we don't run anymore so it's too late we are doing some minor service work here we've been changing a lifter so fast eddie here is the one in charge of making all this happen he's the head engineer i wouldn't call it a head engineer we're lucky we're just back home here and we got to got good resources around here to reach out to people that were here today to help actually we got sean powers i had my buddy jim bailey who could rewire and then i found this guy here actually phoned in a favor to the secretary at work and said hey can you find me a portable welder somebody can weld quarter inch aluminum and she sent me a couple phone numbers nobody wanted to come and i find this guy and he's here he's going to finish it off and get back on the road and see what we got should be better than what we had didn't sound like uh, we ate in the burnout and uh, we, we staged in and I tried to, to build boost uh, for the stage and they shut me down uh, and they shut me down in the starting line and uh, he had forgot the uh, parachute safeties but uh, when I heard the sound when I tried to build boost I knew that something was wrong so I wanted to back out but they said yeah, I couldn't go back, so I have to drive the whole track down and go back on another part. And we came back here and uh, I looked at the screen and I saw that number two cylinder was off. We pulled the uh, first pull the plug, so good. Look good. But then we pulled the cover to see that uh, both rockers didn't have any push rods on them left anymore. So we have bound the whole uh, push rod bridge, uh, and, uh, the rocker bridge, and um, we have pulled out. Uh, threads from the, the, the heads and probably did some um, hurt, uh, did damage, some damage on the lifter and the uh, push rods. They are uh, going to have to pull the engine and see what, what type of corners we have inside. So we can be back at sick with you. job huh that's the best number since day one so that puts us in good shape thank you for that advice hello 200 miles hello, mate. 200 i'm officially in the 200 club at drag week 203 so mile an hour is a big deal for me it's not the fastest car out here but that's a high mile an hour and i'm officially part of the club done for today we obviously had a late night last night rebuilding the engine changing injectors wiring a harness 
had our trailer incident this morning with the trailer falling off so we're putting the car back in street mode but we're waiting for the guy to finish with the trailer actually it looks like he just got done so we can fire up the generator raise the car so we can finish getting ready to leave because it's actually a, hopefully a short drive today only like 118 miles so uh yesterday last night was 280 i think we had two 240 the first day so looking forward to that drive hopefully a little bit cooler temperatures so we can hightail it over there hopefully keep our trailer the whole way and get into a hotel and actually get to go to bed tonight. That would be awesome. So it's the small things. We're in Elizabeth, Illinois, and this town just gave us water to do better burnouts. Party's over? Well, the burnout party's over, yeah. Kill <laughs> <laughs> the buzz. <laughs>